Alright, so we've just seen the launch of the newest Pixel 8 devices from Google and alongside that we got the new Android 14 update as well as a bunch of feature drops for Pixel phones. So in this quick video, I just want to show you guys some of the highlights of the new feature drop that you can expect if you own a compatible Google Pixel phone. Let's get started. Right, so for this video, we're going to use the Pixel 6a since it is compatible with the new Pixel update. So if you have a Pixel 4a 5g up until the Pixel 7a, then that means you're going to get the latest Pixel feature drops alongside Android 14. Now, as I did mention earlier, this is a quick overview, so there's a lot of in-depth stuff, but I just want to show you guys some of the highlights of this new update. Now, if you want to check for updates on your Pixel phone, just go to your settings app, go down to system, and then system updates and there you should check for the latest update for your smartphone all right so first off after updating to android 14 i did notice that we got new button animations on the lock screen so if you're inputting your passcode on the lock screen then it's going to show some quirky new animations which i personally like it brings a bit of flavor and yeah moving on to the home screen we of course get a bit more customization options for the wallpaper and style menu which you can access from the home screen on your pixel phone now google has added a ton of new colors such as monochromatic color theme which do look nice and if you're after something a bit more minimalist then of course you can access this and use this for a more simplistic look on your user interface i did notice that if you choose a certain color accent then the shades of the user interface on your phone does change a bit it's pretty subtle but if you look closely you'll notice this now in addition to this we also get some changes to the user interface of the camera app so first off you do get this switch at the bottom which switches from photo to video mode i do like this it does make looking for certain modes a lot easier so instead of swiping all the way to the right or all the way to the left you can simply flick the switch look for the mode that you want to use and yeah i do think it's a lot quicker this way we also get a change which is kind of trippy depending on how you use your camera so they have swapped the button that you can use to view your photos and the button that switches between the rear cameras and the front camera so it's going to take a bit of getting used to if you're of course used to the older user interface we also get updates to the health connect feature on the pixel phones so using health connect you can of course integrate supported apps which track your health and your fitness and of course apps that record data from your wearables you can access them all under the health connect app and with this we also get more control over our user data Health Connect does make it possible to keep an eye on the kinds of data that your apps access when keeping track of your health metrics. Also, we do get flash notifications now in the accessibility features menu. You can assign your camera flash or your phone screen to light up each time you get a notification on your smartphone. So yeah, these are some quick highlights of Android 14. There are a ton more features that you can dig through in the settings menu, including changes to the accessibility options, as well as some exclusive features for foldables and tablets in case you have the Pixel Fold or the Pixel Tablet. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you already upgraded your Pixel to Android 14? And will you be getting the Pixel 8? Speaking of which, we will be getting the Pixel 8. So stay tuned for more videos on the new phone. And we're going to compare it to the iPhone as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to watch our other videos here on TeamViewer Y. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.